All right, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm making mashed cauliflower. No, I've never done it before, and yes, indeed, this may come out terrible and inedible, and I don't know, this is an experiment. I've just been missing mashed potatoes, and maybe this is a good substitute. First, I cut up a head of cauliflower. Yeah, these pieces might be too big, and Yes, this might be too much to fit in this pot, but you know what? We're, we're just experimenting today. All right, I added some water, which might be too much or too little water. I don't know. And then I put it on a, you know, flame. I want it to boil, basically. So I guess I'll put a lid on it. What are my sous chefs doing? Unhelpful frigs. Now I'm standing here waiting for it to boil and for it to be real soft like overcooked soft, like way soft, like soft, like so that you can mash it, okay? It's not rocket science, you just, it's the same thing with potatoes, it's just <laughs> potatoes cooked until they're soft and then you mash it up using something like this, okay? Yeah. I'll get right on that. All right, I checked it and this is pretty soft and crap. So then you take this and you pour it into that. Isn't that like mind blowing? You strain the cauliflower by putting it into a strainer. I would show you morons how to do it, but I can't, I mean, I'm alone. Nobody can hold the camera for me. So, I mean, I can't pour a boiling pot into a strainer while vlogging, okay? So, just figure it out. Surprise, surprise. The cauliflower strained in the strainer. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in the pot so I can mix in the other ingredients. I'm using almond milk because I'm a pretentious jerk. And butter. I think I'm gonna use like a quarter cup of butter and I guess half a cup of milk. I'll try it first and really this depends on your preference, idiots. I think for a keto recipe, heavy cream would work even better than almond milk, but I don't have that much heavy cream and I can't really go get more right now because I'm babysitting, so... The food processor is probably much more efficient than this, but guess what? I don't have one. Yeah, these look really good. I actually only needed to use, like, a splash of the almond milk. Hey, hey, hey! Aunt Justine's vlogging over here. What? Okay? I'm vlogging. Okay. I used, actually, like, three-fourths of a stick of butter. Which is a lot, but I was really adding it to taste. Like, I love butter, so... Yeah, and I only needed, like, a splash of this. Now you eat it, okay? 